says Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking here in my emails. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like I didn't get any responses. Yeah. And uh, I sent an email last night and this morning about freedom of speech. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting over here because it, it rained last night. Yeah. And they're having a gun show. Oh, look it. I got an email. Oh. Now, maybe somebody's going to enforce the law because I thought I was, I was supposed to learn something about how you can be criminals and not be prosecuted. Oh. You know, the whole concept of violating the laws and because you're a dog or you're in the family, you just don't get prosecuted. Now, I had never grown up with the understanding that uh, those that commit crimes, they don't get prosecuted. <laughs> and then those that don't commit crimes, they get prosecuted. It's kind of the opposite of how I remember growing up. <laughs> See, it used to be before you arrested somebody, you'd have some evidence that they committed a crime. But you arrested me for a crime in, in Squim, Washington on December 31st. <laughs> without any evidence because I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Then you arrested me for another two count criminal complaint in Brennan, Washington Ooh, for cyber stalking and violating a protection order <clears throat> when I wasn't there and I didn't email any of the co-workers of my wife. <laughs> Is she still a teacher in the Quilcene uh, Junior High or Elementary School? <laughs> You know, I was looking over the code of conduct of those that are teachers, and it, it seems that you you do employ criminals. Huh? Now, I know that um, the way that I grew up was that you don't arrest people for crimes they didn't commit, and you arrest people for crimes that they do commit. Now, does the police or sheriff's department? Now, um, you're, you're upsetting me this morning. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Uh, these uh, numerous crimes of the color of law. Mm -hmm. Now, when you extort under the color of law, mm -hmm. your public uh, office, yes, as a public official, Pooch. and you sit there scratching your nutsack like you can arrest any person you want. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely sure that the way that I grew up was um, you did not arrest people unless you had some actual evidence. Mm -hmm. Now, you arrested me in May of 2012 where I was found not guilty? Yes, because there was no evidence. See, I wasn't attempting to contact the petitioner, even though you didn't give me any notice in 2011. I wanted to make sure that Healthy Families of Clallam County, the fiduciary uh, not-for-profit agency of the United, the United Way, <laughs> Why don't you give me all the United Way? In fact, you know what? Let's go through all charities. Mm. This morning I'm feeling very charitable, and any time you're removed from somebody's paycheck, poo. <laughs> oh, look at Department of Justice uh, Criminal Resource Manual 2405, Form Indictment uh, Interference Commerce Extortion. Yes. Interfering in the commerce of the United States. <laughs> now, let's say, okay. <laughs> You're one of these funds that the state of Washington has approved or any state of the United States where you can have automatically taken out of your check any contributions ooch, uh, to a charity ooch, that should be using that money to support the charitable vision of who they are. <laughs> now, for healthy families to call the police 20 days after I contacted them to say, Ooh, he's trying to contact his wife, and I'm like, no. <laughs> That's why I was found not guilty. <laughs> See, they put their information on uh, the actual information that was given me, yes, mm -hmm. as if they were the uh, fiduciary organization that had uh, the legal liability for the protections of my son's pooch. And uh, somebody as a manager there had a Baptist father, I remember. Oh, look it. <laughs> Form indictment, interference with commerce by extortion consisting of threats and violence of fear, 18 U.S. Code 1951. Yes. Now, um, this interfering in commerce, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I have documented quite a few innovations that need to be patented. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, holding the violence under state parties to labor management relations is a wrongful only if they have a legitimate claim. <laughs> 
Now, the Hobbes Act, uh, under color of law, mm -hmm. Un under color of official right. <laughs> Every time you put that uniform on, right, wrongful use or threatened force, violence, or fear, <laughs> you'd be surprised that under the color of official right is exactly what I was looking for yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> The Hobbs Act, 18 U.S. Code 1959, uh, defines extortion in terms of obtaining of property from another <laughs> with his consent under color of official right. <laughs> in fact, uh, the under color of official right aspect of the Hobbs Act derives from the common law meaning of extortion. Oh, as is the Supreme Court explained in a recent opinion regarding the Hobbs Act, at common law, extortion was an offense committed by a public official, sheriff's department, uh, chiefs of police, poo -poo -ch, judges, ooch, uh -huh, court commissioner, mm -hmm, who took by color of his office money that was not due to him for the performance of his official duties. <coughs> extortion by the public official was the rough equivalent <coughs> Uh, what we now describe as taking a bribe, Evans versus United States of America. <laughs> now, all these shows where the dogs paid, yes, in order to show a violation of the Hobbs Act under this provision, the Supreme Court recently held that the government need only show that a public official, yeah, any of those oaths of office in Port Angeles or Clallam County, <clears throat> any oath of office in Squim or Port Townsend, <laughs> Judge Landis, Judge Porter, Judge Cogan, Howard, Judge Rohr, Judge Melly, <laughs> Judge Kniebe, <laughs> uh, held that they has obtained a payment to which he was not entitled, knowing that the payment was made in return for official acts. <laughs> Let's say you had unnecessary court hearings, Brent based, and poo pooch. <laughs> Did you get paid for the show? Because as I remember the Oprah and Fish shows, <clears throat> I was the target of the so sorry you're suffering homeless father that doesn't have his rights enforced. <coughs> but the truth of the matter is every obtain every payment obtained by the, the police department for knowing that the payment was returned. Oh, <coughs> when you arrested me for the allegation of the crime that you did know I wasn't in Squim, Washington, <coughs> did the deputy sergeant get paid? Oh, <coughs> did Balderson get paid for the arrest? <coughs> did you get paid to arrest me in crime? <coughs> did you? Get paid? Did you get paid? <laughs>